Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, we're going to look at Trillium Residences uh, for rent or for sale. Tell you a little more about that later. And we're going to start a little differently. We're going to look at the uh, the gym area, small little gym, but usable gym area. And uh, and off to the pool. The pool is elevated. Uh, forget which floor it's on, but really great view of the city here. Uh, nice. Uh, it's covered. You've got covered seating, which is nice. So you don't. You're not in that direct sunlight. Uh, for those of you who want to lay in the sun, you can pull your chairs around to the side with the sun on it. Uh, but anyway, you're just a, a couple of blocks from. That is Cebu Business Park over there. That's where Ayala Mall is. So you're just uh, two or three blocks, I believe, from Ayala Mall. Very, very close. I did a previous video about this place a couple of years ago, I think, while it was still under construction. And I will put a link at the end of the video to that. One of the few companies, they also built uh, Avenir, which is a more of a business condominium project, uh, which is uh, very near the... Uh, not so far away from my Ayala Mall also. And I will put a link to that video at the at the end of this one. But a uh, nice pool area. And uh, you can rent these units. They have been occupied for quite some time. You can rent them through the various booking sites. Uh, Booking.com, Agoda.com, uh, Airbnb.com, uh, those types of things. And uh, also, I looked, uh, there's a number of units for sale as well. And uh, so you can contact those realty companies, those owners. I'll put a link to a realtor that I've used in the past uh, in the description area as well. We're going to look at uh, studio first here, and I believe it's about 27 square meters, including uh, the smallish balcony. Uh, comes with the cabinets. And if you want to see furnished model units, uh, my previous video, I had walked through some uh, model units and showed you those. Also showed you some of the units while they were under construction, including including the penthouse, a penthouse unit that was under construction. Uh, I think it was selling for about 35 million pesos and had uh, 257 square meters, I believe, which is 2,766 square feet. I believe that one of those may still be available. And 35 million pesos would come out to about 686,000 U.S. dollars at uh, 51 pesos to the U.S. dollar. Uh, so look at that view, beautiful view out there. It would have been nice, in my opinion, if they would have stretched those balconies out just, uh, you know, another couple feet half a meter or so, and made it a little more usable there. But the Paget, uh, the right there, I, I believe that's the Paget. Uh, that's a condominium very close to the Trillium. And uh, this is a look at the bare units pretty much. You have your vent going up for your exhaust fan. Uh, I would uh, put a two-sink set up there. I would make the... Uh, kitchen counter much larger I would rearrange things a little bit but a little bit larger than your average uh, a lot of the new condominiums now are being built about 22 square meters is average uh, so this is just a little bit bigger than that he let me stick my nose into this one a little bit somebody had bought this was having it furnished so uh, they've installed the refrigerator they've installed some of the tiles on in the kitchen area there and there uh, there's a bed back in there and they're doing the final touch-ups uh, but anyway that's an idea what you can do with that unfinished apartment and here's a corner unit 44 square meters 473 square feet for you in America and uh, basic furnishings so uh, they still had a few of these for sale when I was there a number of months ago and uh, Generally, the, the studio, for instance, even I found uh, now listed online, there were some for sale for between a little over 3 million pesos, Philippine pesos. And a million pesos is about 20,000 U.S. dollars. Uh, so 60,000 pesos for a studio. 
and the one bedrooms will range will vary again depending on location and uh, they start uh, a little over four million it seems eighty thousand on up and then you have they have two bedrooms here and then they have the penthouse units as well at 257 square meters about 686,000 US dollars and as I've stated in my previous video I did uh, I did show some model units so if you want to see one kind of decked out with furniture and stuff uh, you can go back and I will link that at the end of this video uh, they have spaces up there for window type air conditioners and I've asked if uh, if a person wanted to put a compressor out here, can you put the split type in? And I didn't really get a good answer. And sometimes uh, real estate agents, brokers will tell you, yes, you can do that. But when it right, comes right down to it, uh, will they allow that? Some want the exact same look along the whole side of the building. Uh, for instance, I've been to, in condominiums that if you put curtains up, which most people will to block, help block the sun, they have to be certain shades of white. They all have to look pretty much the same. And so you're limited in what you can do. And uh, condo dues here, I believe they were 70 or 80 pesos per square meter. I don't remember exactly. Here's a look around the lobby area. You've got a, uh, a laundromat right there, which is very convenient. So you don't have to haul it down the street. And you'll find there are lots of laundromats out on the street. Uh, a little convenience store there, which makes that uh, convenient. And this place does a lot of the booking for Airbnb here. And uh, fiber optic connections in the rooms. Uh, kitchenette with cooking, dining essentials. And uh, that's why when I went to Airbnb site, I wasn't allowed to pick one night. I had to choose two nights, which kind of surprised me. But you can book also different uh, different owners use Agoda. They use uh, Booking.com. So if you don't want to stay two nights, I, I tried to check prices out uh, a week and even a month out. And uh, in each case, I was told uh, the rooms are all booked at this time for these dates. But I believe that your average rates there run probably 45 US dollars uh, to 55 US dollars for a studio, maybe one bedroom. There again, depends upon the season. Uh, the big festival in January, every, prices go up and all the rooms get booked very early, for instance. So depends on the season, depends upon the demand. Uh, I, I hate to report that I think sometimes when I do a video about a hotel or a place, uh, the inquiries go up and then the prices go up so uh you know they call some people like me influencers we can influence rates because the the computer system see all the the demand and the traffic coming into their site and then rates go up so uh the, the good and the bad part of putting information up even even you get a book like uh, lonely planet the different travel books they will list places to eat. Oh, you know, the prices are, are really reasonable, really good food. And uh, sure enough, prices, you know, demand goes up. People start going to those places. Demand goes up. Prices go up. So changes, changes the environment and pricing. The construction firm that was the developer that was building uh, this place, Trillium, a couple of years ago, and they also built the Avenir. Uh, near the waterfront hotel and uh, they were they were one of the very few developers that let me on site during construction give me a hard hat and took me up and uh, you may find the other uh, video about Trillium uh, interesting and uh, I looked at some some unfinished units some under construction and uh, they also had some model units with the furniture inside and across the street is, I believe it's the Welcome Hotel. And here are a couple maps uh, showing you where it's at. Very, very close to Ayala Mall. And uh, not so far, you know, Cebu City is a small, big city. So you're really not very far from, from many areas. And here's a little bit larger 
perspective of where that's located across the bridges. Uh, anyway, Trillium, kind of an interesting place, a little bit larger than uh, many places. Studios are still a bit small, but nice pool, beautiful view area up there on the pool. Uh, the penthouses may or may not still be available. If, you're, if you've got some cash to spend, uh, have the whole floor to yourself. That balcony area you see just in the upper right-hand corner, that is the first uh, penthouse, that whole floor there. And then there's another penthouse above that. And I believe there's another floor above that where the owner lives. Uh, anyway, I uh, did a walkthrough of the unfinished penthouse. It's, it's huge. And uh, that is in my previous video. I'll put a link at the end as well as uh, some contact information. Thank you for uh, watching. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at. And I'll see you next time.